everyone. So spring has sprung, finally, and uh, it is really nice to consider this the official beginning of the camping season. Now here in upstate New York in the mountains, a lot of people hold out till Memorial Day, but uh, once the weather starts to break, it's really, really nice to get out and see some of the things that are present here in the spring. But as with anything in life, there's always a catch. Uh, nothing is pure and simple. So uh, there's certainly a big downside to camping here in the spring. We're gonna talk about how we mitigate that today and uh, show you some of the other sights and sounds that are happening here in the Catskills. So the truth is, I don't have a favorite season. My favorite time to go camping is today, <laughs> whatever time of year that happens to be. But there is something special about spring here where I live. It's like the natural world just explodes. One day the birds just fire off. Some of them are coming back from a vacation away during the winter. Some are rejoicing that the snow is finally melting and food is becoming more readily available. On the drive here alone, we saw about a dozen deer. We saw wild turkey strutting. Uh, a porcupine bounced out in front of us on the road. Spring here is a bustling time and it's not a time that I wanna miss. The ground here just explodes with wild edibles. What you're seeing behind me is a large patch of small white leeks. A lot of people call these ramps, even though that's the European variety of the plant, they are different. It's like a perfect harmony between garlic and onion. When you're walking by these in the woods, the smell just makes you hungry. Now these things explode out of the ground anywhere the soil is wet. Um, there is such a supply here that you could really uh, pack a lot of these up and eat on these all year. Now planted along next to them, or wildly growing along next to them, are all these trout lilies. Now this is like a, it's like a perfect salad green. It's like a mix between sweet and bitter. Um, the stuff is delicious, but this stuff sprouts up. It's only out for a few weeks. And uh, if you're skipping this time of year, you're not gonna catch this stuff. So why do so many experienced outdoors people skip this season altogether where I live? Well, I'm sure you can pick up some of this on the camera, but there are swarms of flying insects. It can drive you certifiably insane. So if you want to enjoy this beautiful time of year, and that's the case where you live with these bugs, here it's mostly a gnat, but you know, eventually the mosquitoes will come. I'm going to share with you some of my tips and tricks that allow me to stay out here without going bonkers. So the first line of defense has to be physical barriers. And that starts with clothing. Even though it's getting warm this time of year, I have a lightweight long sleeve shirt. There's buttons on the collar in case they're biting my arms, I can tighten those up. I can button it up up top to keep these flies off of my neck. Now I have these breathable pants that unzip into shorts. I'm not making a fashion statement here, but if I'm being active, I have the shorts. If they're eating up my legs, I can pull the sleeves up and zip them up into pants. So your clothing here matters a lot. You have to start there. The next is a hat with an abundance of these silly little head nets. Now these things pull down around your face and they keep them from biting your face. That's where these flies are attracted to. They like the heat and they like the CO2 that you're breathing out. That's why they swarm around your face. These nets, it's actually working right now, keep them from landing on your lips and eyelids and your ears and the back of your net. They're kind of uncomfortable. So my tip is always have a hat with a brim, either a, uh, the full style uh, brim or just a baseball cap because it keeps the net itself from being more annoying than the flies. The next physical barrier is one of these easy up screen rooms. Now the brand I recommend is Clamset. They are the best in the business. I'll put a couple different sizes in the links for my description. Now I got this high quality knockoff one that I recommended. Of course it's discontinued but these things go up in a few seconds. You can eat in there and just have a little reprieve away from the flies. 
Lucia will set up a lawn chair and read a book in here. This is a must have. I think it's probably the best invention for tiny camper folks. Even tent camping people, uh, this is a great addition to your setup. It's great in the rain. Uh, it holds up to wind really well. This really is a must have setup, even when it's not flying insect season. So the next step here is chemical deterrence and it is effective. This is where most people start. And for me, this is three or four lines of defense into my system. The only product that I've used that actually works for me is DEET. And I really don't like this stuff. It is pretty toxic. My mother's so allergic to it that if you spray it on her arm, her muscles start to twitch. There's something going on there that I really don't trust. So I bring along these uh, eucalyptus lemon scented stuff. It's all natural. I'm not sure if it actually works, but it does smell good. So maybe you could spray some DEET on your shoes or pant legs. It helps with the ticks. This stuff, I think it works if you keep applying it, but it's more like camp and cologne. The product that I love is this Thermocell Radius. This one has a built-in battery. I charge it from solar. You could plug it into a USB. There's these little cartridges. They last a long time. It heats them up and it kind of works like incense. It's a plant extract. It does keep the flies away. I can't believe how effective this is. I've seen people say, uh, you know, that won't work if the wind is blowing, but when the wind is blowing, the flies generally aren't bothering you. You know, they're trying to fly in that themselves. So I really couldn't uh, endorse this product enough. I'll throw a link in my description to this. And when you guys use those links, Jeff Bezos sends me like 25 cents. That adds up. It's how I buy the SD cards and microphones and all the stuff I have to do to make these videos. So I really appreciate when you guys do support the channel that way. Now, when the flies have broken through the barriers and the chemical defense, it's time to engage with the enemy. <laughs> so my next step is one uh, that might crack you up. So this is an electric fly swatter. You push a button, you wave it through, and these things vaporize. I'm gonna put a link in the description. You wanna get the one with the fine mesh. Some of them have very coarse mesh and it doesn't do a good job catching these little gnats. Now, there's a lot of them that are rechargeable, so I'll look for those. I've been using the Pale Blue Earth batteries in this one and it's working really well. It might surprise some of you that know that I've lived in a Zen Buddhist monastery for over seven years, that I am endorsing uh, taking the life of a living being. You know, I live in a monastery, so did Rambo. <laughs> you gotta have boundaries. I put up a mesh to keep them out. I wore appropriate clothing. I wore bug spray. I burned the thermocell. If you've made it through all of those lines of deterrence, now I'm gonna engage with the enemy. <laughs> so uh, this product here, it really, really works. These things come in in swarms by the dozen. They're really tiny and they're hard to smack with your hands. So you push this button and you make a couple fans and these things vaporize. It's an effective tool. So uh, <laughs> I hope that I don't offend anybody here or lose your respect, but like I said, um, I want to come out and enjoy the spring camping season. Too many people are staying inside to avoid these nasty little gnats here. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to make dinner, hop in the camper for the night, but I will see you guys next time. So another joy of owning a teardrop, uh, definitely an improvement over tent camping. We have a nice little safe oasis here to go to bed free of the bugs. And if any stragglers got inside, <laughs> I, uh, I know what to do with them. But right now, I'm going to pop open this window and uh, go to bed to the wonderful sounds of spring in the Catskills.